Hey, what's going on? This is Thomas Gal Denzi, and on this edition of Combat Sports Coverage, we'll be interviewing UFC fighter Eric Showtime Shelton over his upcoming UFC fight, March 23rd, live at Nashville, Tennessee, where he'll be taking on 12 and 5 Jordan Espinosa. So, Eric, tell me how your training camp is going so far, about one week out from your fight. Oh, man, it's been amazing. You know, I'm at America's Top Team, the best gym in the world. You know, got the best training partners, the best coaches. So it's going great, bro. And tell me more about how uh, American Top Team, uh, who and, like, where, uh, who's all, like, part of your training camp right now for this fight? Well, like like I said, man, at ATT, we got tons of 125ers, tons of 135ers. But recently I've been going a lot with Fantosia, you know, KOG, Juan Puerta. Um, Josh Smith, you know, I mean, the list goes on, man. It just matters of who's there, and uh, that's who they have me working with. So we got all skill sets, man, and I'm just out here pushing it and grinding. Yeah, that's exciting. Yeah, that's definitely one of the best teams out there. Uh, that's really cool. You get to train with them all the time and train with all those great fighters. And tell me, um, when are you planning on getting into Nashville? Uh, I actually take off Tuesday, so I'll be getting there Tuesday, do all the media stuff that week, and, you know, finish the cut, and, you know, fine to me. And how is that weight cut going? Since you do fight 125 pounds and you do look like a very lean individual, uh, how does that weight cut go for you? Oh, it's always easy, man. It's a real smooth cut for me. Never really had trouble making weight. It's always real smooth. I feel good every time. So, yeah, it's real good. And I've been working a lot with uh, this last fight. I worked with uh, Lockhart. So they helped me a lot with uh, with the food and the, the preparation for the cut as well. So I'll be doing that again this fight. So I'm sure it'll go just as smooth. Oh wow, that's awesome! Yeah, I've heard a lot about Lockhart and um, like how like how many meals would you say you guys got cooked out? Was it about like a month out? Where he starts like when he starts cooking for the meals for you, or is it about six weeks? Well, you, well, the way they do it is just uh, for me. I just do it that fight week because I, I mean I do the meal prepping myself. I do a lot of stuff on my own, but that week of fighting, uh, a fight week, uh, the the weight cut and the rehydration and stuff. That's what they they do for me. Um, I mean, for other fighters, they might do the the monthly or whatever, but for me, I'm just doing that week of the weight cut, and they give you meals, snacks, and, you know, the rehydration after the cut. So, oh, it makes sense. Pretty well. Oh yeah, it makes sense. Make sure you get uh, fully uh, rehydrated and everything. And so, tell me, how do you see this fight playing out with your opponent, twelve and five, Jordan Espinosa? Do you see yourself winning by KO, TKO, submission, or is it going to be an all-around war? You know what, man? Honestly, I'm looking to get a knockout this fight. Knockout is make it a finish, you know, a finish for sure. I'm not going to go in here and try to go to the distance. I honestly don't have good good luck with the scorecards with those judges, man. I've had a lot of split decision losses. So I'm going out here to get this finish. Me and my coaches and training partners are working on finishing and getting the finish and finding the opening. So, like I said, man, I'm going to go out here and get this job done and get out there and get on the top ten. Oh, that's exciting. Yeah, I cannot wait. Uh, I think your speed is going to be a big factor in this fight with your stand-up and your great movement. And then tell me, how important is it for you to get this uh, win streak going? Because if you get this win right now, you'll have two consistent wins going forward. And how important is that for you? It's huge, man. I mean, like I said, I got split decision losses in the UFC. And, and it, takes a, you know, it takes a hit on your confidence. The belief can be you know, being at this gym, it's almost like a reset for me. So now I'm like, I'm feeling myself again. I'm back. I don't like so I feel like I'm going to fix the test. So I do I'm back in the top five, you know. And through what, to this guy, like, you know, and belonging to me. And getting this cat out of there pretty quick will be, will be amazing. You know, groups in my, while I belong to the top ten, top five. You know, I'm fighting for the title soon. This year I plan on making my run for the title, so. You know, I want to go and show why why I separate myself from my local peer in, the, in my division. And that's a great, that's actually a great lead, lead way into the next question, which I was about to ask you, is right now there's a lot of uh, talk about the UFC flyweight division about that, that it might, you know, dissolve or what with, um, with, you know, a lot of the fighters moving up in weight class, like uh, just last weekend we saw um, Matt Schnell and we saw Luis Smoka 
um, move up to 135 pounds. And we've also seen guys like um, Anthony Pettis' uh, little brother, uh, Sergio Pettis. He, he's also moved up. And everybody was talking about this fight uh, when TJ Dillashaw was fighting uh, Henry that it was it seemed like the UFC was going to do that. But there is still fights going on at Flyway. And I was just curious, is that um, have you heard anything? Like, you know the UFC is going to be keeping the Flyweights around or have they came to you asking you, would you maybe want to move up in weight or anything? You know, there's definitely been talk about moving it up and putting up a big again. Another 25 fight. So I'm going to just put the blows, you know. Whatever they give me, I'm taking, you know, whether it's at 35 or 25, I'm going to be a part of the UFC, you know. And uh, I feel the UFC is that. So I want to go to 25 and make it to the top four. You know I mean? It's clear that the drivers can hang with the 35ers. We've seen what Cejudo and TJ played out. We've seen how that played out. So, I mean... You know, that 10 pounds, for some guys, it's good to not cut that. And I feel, for me, I'm, I'm, I'd rather be at 25. I'd rather be at 25, but, uh, you know, I'm down to go up to 30. So I can put it on muscle. And uh, my speed, I think, will play a factor in that. But, again, I mean, I've heard about it being dissolved, but we're still here. You know what I mean? We're still going. We're still thriving. And I feel we got tons of good fights, good matchups right now. You know, the top 10 right now, if you look at the top 10, it's a stacked division. You know what I mean? So I'm like... It just doesn't make any sense to get rid of it, especially seeing how that TJ fight, the Hudo fight, played out. Oh, I agree also. Same with, uh, I'm a big fan of Henry Cejudo, and I feel like he, he's going to bring a lot more eyes to the weight class than uh, DJ did. And, um, um, so I think they should definitely keep it. And you guys are also the most well rounded fighters on the roster. Yeah, so that works too, man. The and speed and the agility and everything. Most 25. Strike and I mean, you have to do it all at 25, otherwise, you won't make it <laughs> exactly. And then tell me about so you were also on the Ultimate Fighter of the season, which I was a big fan of your season of the Ultimate Fighter. I also I love the conspect that they had, how all you guys came in there as champions undefeated, and that was a big push for the flyweight division, also. And just tell me, like, how was your experience on the show looking back now on it? Like, would you like, would you ever do that show again, or no? or I mean, the show was amazing. I mean, don't get me wrong, it was tough at the moment. But looking back, it's like, man, that was amazing. I would definitely do it again if I, if I had a shot. And I would probably be in the moment more if I did it again, you know, because I was so worried about family and everything, you know, and everything was stressing me out. But I was in there. You know, it was a good time. I got to train with the best, you know, the best of the best. Obviously, everybody was champion, you know, and I got to and it, all the co got to get get in with Joe uh, Joe Benavidez and I met a lot of people throughout the show. You know what I mean? And uh, I still have a lot. Of, I still stay connected with a lot of the guys from the show. Um, so man, I, I definitely would do it again. And I and I'm blessed to be able to do it. I feel like it it definitely helped my career. You know, as far as uh, being comfortable in the UFC. You know. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, uh, during that show, I was a huge. Like I said earlier, I was a huge fan of you. You were definitely one of my top picks for the show. I thought you were going to be the dark horse of the show, so I was definitely cheering for you. And I see on like your Instagram and stuff, like you still seem to be like training with some of those guys that you filmed the show with. Um, like, just tell me about like who the guys that you still train with and maybe hang out with from the show. Yeah, man. I mean, I'm at ATT, and we got we got Pantoja there, Jamie Alvarez. Uh, I trained with Danger a little bit before he, he left ATT, you know, um, a lot of those guys, man, uh, I got to train with, um, my boy Rizzo, I still t stay in contact with a lot, I talk to him over the phone a lot, and he, he like, break down my fights and stuff for me, because uh, he's no longer fighting, but uh, he, he helps me out, you know, in a lot of relationships I kept from the show, man, I, I definitely uh, blessed to be able to meet those guys and, and staying connected with them. Oh, definitely. Yeah, that's awesome. And then looking on your UFC career so far, um, you know, like you were, like we were kind of touching base on earlier, you have um, all your fights inside the UFC have all been by decision, win or loss. And you were saying earlier, like, how do you think this? How is that going to help motivate you in this fight leading in? Man, like I said, man, I'm looking to get a finish. You know, I know I can finish these guys. You know, I'm going in there, and uh, you know, I had to learn the hard way. You know, going in there thinking. You know, I get these guys out of the quick, but everybody in the UFC is tough. You know, everybody's going to be a tough fight. So I got that through my head now, you know, and I'm, I'm prepared for everything. You know, now I'm, I feel I'm prepared mentally, you know, physically. I'm, I'm ready to go in here and get the job done. You know, this last fight I had with, um, uh, Morales, uh, was a tough fight. You know, he's a, a stud jujitsu guy and 
you know, normally I would have been worried about taking him down, but again, I, I imposed my will and I went in there and I wrestled him. I beat him at his own game. So I think I can do that with any guy I fight. I feel I can I'll strike the best strikers. I can grapple with the best grapplers, you know, wrestle with the best wrestlers. So now I just got to go in here and believe in myself. When I impose my will on these guys, I'll be, I'll run through them. I already know I can. So it's just about believing and, and you know, having a great team behind me, great, great uh, teammates and, and getting the job done. Oh, exactly, man. You're getting me all uh, goosebumps. Uh, you're getting me very excited for your fight. You seem very motivated and hungry to get this finish, and I, I, I will be cheering. I cannot wait to see it. And is there like any, is there any rematch that you would maybe look forward to after this fight? Because in all your, uh, your split decisions and decisions, it's not like you're losing any of these fights by uh, knockout or submission. You know, you're just barely losing them by points, and some of these fights could have gone either way. So I feel like that should really help your confidence. And if there's any of those fights that you look back and you really wish, man, I wish I could get that fight again? Oh, definitely, definitely. You know, it, I got, you know, Jared Brooks definitely would take that fight back, but I don't think he's in the UFC now. Um, Tim Elliott, on the show, I got to fight him, and we went, you know, the two rounds. I feel we should have went a third. You know, a lot of those fights, you know, of course, Pantoja is my, I train with him now, so that's out of the, that's out of the books, but, uh, yeah, man, Alex Perez, any of those guys, I would definitely rematch anybody. You know, anybody I've lost to, I would rematch. Uh, but again, I'm looking forward. So whoever's in front of me with the number on their name, that's who I'm going after. So, you know, after this fight, I'm going to look and, and, and look at that top top five, top ten, and, and call somebody out because that's obviously what they need you to do to get – Get the you know get the blood boiling for these guys, man. I wanna I wanna make it exciting for the twenty five division again, man. I'm going here and put in work. Exactly, that's exciting. I cannot wait. You get me all fired up. I, I love to hear the uh, energy you have coming out, and I definitely feel like they definitely all the, everybody should dare. If you're if you're a real martial art fan, you really should appreciate the 125 pound fighters. You guys are not just strikers or kickboxers or grapplers. You guys can do everything, and it makes for the best exciting fights. Definitely, man. I feel the same way, man. 25, 35. You know those those weight divisions are. You know they're they're action pack the whole fight you know so that's what that's what our job is now is 25 to go in here and leave it all out there so this fight just if you prepare for me to go out here and i'm gonna be coming forward I'm, whether it's striking wrestling or whatever i'm gonna be pushing the pace and i'm gonna get this w that's exciting everyone definitely needs to tune in for this fight and check it out on espn plus and on for that card also for the main event we'll be seeing anthony pettis taking on Steven Wonderboy Thompson, and I just want to see what's your picks for that fight. Woo. You know, I'm a big fan of Pettis, you know, always have been. Um, but again, I feel him going up in weight uh, against Wonderboy is going to be it's going to be a tough test for him. You know, that's a bigger guy with the speed. You know, it's it's tough to say. You know, I want I would love to be like, man, this is going to be an all out, you know, five round war, but. I feel like, I feel like Thompson's gonna get him out of there. Maybe third round, third round. I think he's gonna put him down. That's how I feel. I agree. I, yeah, I think Anthony Pettis is going to be a little bit too small for the weight uh, weight class, and Stevens is going to probably uh, get the TKO. I'm thinking probably in the fourth round. And but will you yeah. be will you be staying there to watch the main event? Oh, definitely, definitely. And is there any other you know, fights on? The after my win, man, I'm be pumped up. I'm be standing there watching all. <laughs> exactly. And speaking of that, after your win, do you got do you have like anything planned for Nashville, or what do you usually do after getting the win? Well, I got a lot of people coming out for this fight. You know, it's not too far from back home, you know, and not too far from here. So it's like in the middle. So everybody's going to be coming down. So I have tons of fans out there. You know, we're going to try to pack the house as much as possible, man. And uh, just, you know, visit visit my family, hang out with the kids, you know, enjoy the W and just, you know, and just wait, wait for the next thing, you know, wait for the next big call. But right now I'm focused on getting this guy out of here. You know, my mind is, is straight arrow to getting him out of there. So that's what I'm focused on, man. And then afterwards... You know, we'll see what happens. That's exciting. And we so we had a fan question poll for uh, every guest we have on the show. We always put out there on our Facebook uh, channel. Uh, we ask for a fan question. I usually pick one of them. And the fan question we had was from Taylor Swanson. And it was, um, what is something you like to do outside of training? Oh, man, uh, I'm a big animal person. So I like to take my, my dog out to the park and do stuff like that. Nature walking. Awesome. You know, cool stuff like that, man. And then, you know, I also, I also like to, 
it hit weights. I love lifting weights. You know, I guess that is the gym still, but that's my pastime. I love going and lifting weights, and hanging out with the family. Man, I'm just a, I'm a family guy. Pretty basic. <laughs> what, what's your favorite uh, like weights? Like favorite type of weight? Weight like bench or incline or uh, curls? Like benching, man. I love the bench, and then arms too. I like to hit arm. Yeah, it's always good to have a nice little bicep. Man. Yeah, no wonder you stay so shredded. <laughs> so is there is there any uh, uh, shout outs or any sponsors you want to give uh, any special thank you to for during this training camp for helping you yeah yeah man I definitely want to give a shout out to my team American Top Team you know my coaches there training partners um, all my family for always supporting you know Lockhart for you know holding it down with the with the weight cut um, never been stronger for always hooking me up with supplements and stuff like that yeah man and just you know thank you for having me on the show brother <laughs> Oh, yeah, anytime, and thank you uh, for coming on and giving me this opportunity to interview you and uh, get a little glimpse inside of your training camp. And everyone needs to make sure to tune in and watch you fight because I guarantee it's going to be action-packed after this interview. I cannot wait to see you get this finish, and it's going to be action-packed. And everyone needs to tune in at UFC ESPN Plus, March 23rd, 2019, live in Nashville, Tennessee. My man.